Right, so I hope you're ready for round two, or part two I should say, of It's All About Scam Lines, because I'm going to do another video um, about uh, low behold scam lines. Um, uh, this video is being done off a um, off request from Future Matt 5. And it's about the Dreamcast. I, I sort of touched on it a bit in, in part one about the Dreamcast. Um, it's quite a special console. <clears throat> Uh, for more reasons than one, uh, not just because the games are fantastic on it, but also uh, what the actual console can do. It was it was one of the first consoles. Here's mine. Uh, mine is a Jack version. It's it's one of the release versions. Um, is that it was? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it was one of the first consoles that came out that actually had. Um, an output that uh, that could be done in VGA mode, and also had games that were actually coded uh, to use that display mode. Again, going back to the history of the Dreamcast, if you look at it, it 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 was actually based on on the Naomi uh, Sega arcade 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 platform, which was actually an arcade platform that was. Uh, based and used uh, 640 by 480 as its resolution for games. So if you look at games like um, I can't think now. Cross so many games, but I can't think now. Um, okay, look at Ikaruga, uh, for instance. Um, that game itself is on the Naomi platform and it's 640 by 480. So the original Naomi uh, arcade machines came with a high res monitor which was 640 by 480 and that's what they natively were there to uh, reproduce from the Naomi uh, hardware as I also touched on in the previous uh, video uh, some of the Japan or, or the Japanese versions of the Naomi were uh, you could get multi-sync monitors uh, like the versions that I've got and uh, the UK ones were nearly all as far as I know 480 by 480 6 fuck, 640 by 480 Christ there's so many big digit credits on my head um, so as regards to the home version this was one of the first consoles you could buy if not the the first console you could buy that you could actually connect up to a monitor now at the time the monitors around at the time were normal CRT monitors but they were computer monitors uh, that predominantly everybody had and, and most of them were super VGA so it would handle a VGA uh, signal it would certainly handle uh, the plug type uh, which is a D sub uh, 15 pin one and that's the generic one that's used even on today's LCD screens um, now I, I didn't actually get my head around all this for quite some time really I was happily playing games on my Dreamcast via an RGB SCART lead to a normal TV, CRT TV and it was it was great, it was as I'd expect it to be, it was sharp and, and looked great and then I actually got a VGA cable and, and I connected that up to, at the time, was a computer monitor uh, CRT Super VGA screw and I looked at playing uh, Sega Rally 2 and, and the difference was just absolutely mind blowing because obviously the uh, the computer monitor could display a high resolution than a normal TV could and the difference in quality was just absolutely outstanding I was like in awe of it um, so I certainly do remember that fond moment when I first put it in I thought shit where have I been for the past X amount of years why didn't I find this out to begin with when I got a Dreamcast but um, it's one of those things you pick up you read about stuff and I, I, I don't think there was probably that much stuff on the internet at the time to be fair about it the internet wasn't, certainly wasn't as evolved as what it is at the moment So, but uh, what I wanted to do on this video <coughs> was to show you that there that there is software available for the Dreamcast that will be uh, VGA compatible and also be SCART RGB compatible but for the purpose of this I'll actually show you that there's games that actually look better under RGB 
than they do under VGA which may sound quite strange because you probably think that the Dreamcast will look better for VGA for everything but it doesn't it doesn't there are some games that will benefit from running in a low resolution mode there are a few fighters uh, Street Fighter series uh, Marvel vs Capcom thing, and I'll show you that and I'll flip between the two and you'll see the difference it, it, it's it's very similar to what I've shown on, on the on the part one video for the Super Nintendo um, <clears throat> But I'll also show you um, a difference between running a VGA compatible game but also a, a game that is coded for VGA because there is a difference there uh, just because a game is VGA compatible doesn't mean it's encoded for VGA so it won't give you the best quality sharp graphics but, uh, but most of the Dreamcast games will because uh, they were encoded for VGA um, so I thought I'd show you that as well so you get a bit of a uh, a sort of mix and match of what's possible. I'll be using a, a official uh, Dreamcast uh, VGA cable, which is one here, and also an official, yes it's official, uh, RGB SCART lead for a Dreamcast. And I'll be connecting this all up to my arcade cabinet, so I won't bother switching between, between uh, display types it's a waste of time I think you've seen the relevant um, that sort of difference that can make on part one uh, what I will say however <coughs> is that even though you can use the uh, the VGA output on the Dreamcast you may be thinking well I'll tell you what if I connect that up to my LCD screen which will have the VGA input it will be absolutely fine it will be as good as what it is on a CRT in VGA mode it won't be <laughs> I can absolutely assure you uh, the reason why is because of the resolution 640 by 480 LCD screens will only give their sharpest picture when you are running the LCD screen whether it's an LCD monitor for a PC or an LCD uh, TV when you're feeding it with the native resolution that it is optimally set at now if you look at a normal HD LCD screen their optimal resolution I think is 1280 by 720 I think that's right let's just if I say something that's totally wrong I think it is I think it's 1280 by 720 if it's if it's um, a true HD it's 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 19 is it 1920 by 1080 or 1900 by 1080 whatever it is but unless you drive an LCD screen with a resolution that is its native resolution, i.e. The, the one that it looks at the best, the one that looks the best on it, you won't get a mega sharp picture. And it's because what happens, the LCD screen, a TV, will scale the picture to fit the screen. So you've got to be aware of that. So just because you've got a Dreamcast and a VGA cable and you connect it up to a computer um, a LCD screen or, or an LCD TV, you still won't get a mega sharp pitch. It'll be, it'll be slightly fuzzy. It will be slightly fuzzy. It won't be sharp as what it would be if it was on a CRT Super VGA or VGA screen. Purely because the CRT technology, the screen the screen technology can deal much better with with various resolution changes right so uh, for this first uh, demo this is a uh, Sega uh, Dreamcast uh, connected up to my arcade uh, monitor in uh, with a pure VGA connection so that's basically going from the uh, from the Dreamcast out through a Sega VGA cable straight into the VGA socket on my CRT. So this is this is pure high resolution. So this is six. What, say high resolution. It, it is for the Dreamcast. It's six forty by four eighty. Now, something you'll notice straight away is the fact that you don't get any scan lines. Now the reason why you don't get that is because of the resolution that you're driving 
into the monitor because this is what the monitor will take 640 by 480 and you don't get scan lines at 640 by 480 because it's high res it's not low res something else that you'll notice perhaps between this and say as an example the previous PlayStation 2 uh, video that I did <clears throat> where you saw the PlayStation in its native resolution which was, I can't think what native resolution is now the PlayStation, but it's definitely high res. But you got a flicker on the PlayStation. Now on this you don't, you get no flickering at all. Uh, the reason why is because VGA 640x480 is something called progressive mode. It's a progressive um, mode resolution coming out of this uh, Dreamcast, which means you get none of the flicker. Now, if you remember back to my first video, I said that PlayStation 2, when it didn't display, if it wasn't displaying in low res, and it was displaying its native res, you had an interlaced picture. Now, with interlacing, you'll get a high resolution, but you'll get the flicker. Well, on the Dreamcast, you won't. It can do the high resolution, and you won't get the flicker, because that's the, that's the video mode that it can output, which is... Uh, which is cool for people like you and I. That's great. So you get a, you get a crystal sharp picture in that respect. You don't get any flickering. So that's that's it. A six forty by four eighty. Right now we have the Dreamcast connected up to the arcade uh, CRT um, uh, via the uh, the RGB lead. So uh, this is the Dreamcast through an RGB lead, SCART RGB, into an RGB to VGA converter, which is what I used on my previous uh, video to get the best out of low resolution on, on a monitor, into my monitor. Now, something you'll notice straight away is that you appear to have scan lines on here. In RGB mode, you appear to have scan lines. Now, whilst you do have a scan line there what looks like a scan line you do get a flicker now you can't actually pick it up very well on this on this video um, as much as what you could pick it up on the PlayStation 2 demo that I did on the previous video but it 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 does flicker it really does flicker and um, and that's one of the biggest differences really between the the RGB output on the Dreamcast and the VGA output. Uh, VGA output is in progressive mode, so you don't get the flicker, but RGB output is actually an interlaced output and you get the flicker. And it's it's the way that it, it can use an RGB output to get the high resolution, but it doesn't actually look as sharp. And again, you probably won't pick that up on this, to be fair, but it doesn't look as sharp as the, as the pure VGA output. So, that's that screen between the two types of video modes out of the um, out of the Dreamcast. Right again, this is the Dreamcast uh, connected via RGB going into the monitor, so it's not VGA, and you can actually see. I can see it visibly, sorry, visibly with my naked eye. I can see the script. This text flickering. It is flickering. Now the camera is not picking it up, but if you look at the text there. If you look at this character here, as you can see a sort of shadow, I don't know if you can see, you can see where the main blocks of lines are, like the solid white ones, and you seem to have a shadow cast on certain parts, that is actually the flickering. So the camera's not picking up flickering, but it's looking like there's actually an overlay there, or a shadow. That is the flickering. So again, if we look at a game here, this is Virtual Fighter. And this is an RGB mode again. And if we look down here, again, you can't actually see any flickering, but I can see it with my, um, sort of with my naked eye. And what I'll do is I'll go for the same process again on, on the VGA connection, because this game is not only VGA compatible, but it will display best in VGA. And you'll see the difference, hopefully. Right, so this is Dreamcast connected in VGA mode on a VGA compatible game and a VGA at resolution. As you'll see by the text that I showed before, this is a hell of a lot clearer. Everything's clearly white. There doesn't appear to be any shadows. It is absolutely pin sharp. And again, this is because this game is not only 
uh, it's not only VGA compatible, which nearly all the games were anyway, but it's actually been encoded to optimally display in VGA mode. You see those, it, it, I, I mean there's a massive difference there, if you, if you rewind the video back to the uh, previous bit on this, on RGB, it's a massive difference. So again, this is the game running again, in pure VGA mode, via VGA. So going from VGA to VGA, we've got VGAs everywhere here. Now immediately the image is so much crisper. And you actually want crispness on, on this because that's what the game was coded for. It was meant to look good at VGA resolution, not at RGB. So again, if we come down to here, okay, we've got rid of scanner. We haven't got any scanners anymore, but, and the video's not really picking this up, but that is so much sharper, especially to the naked eye, which is actually, uh, and what the important thing is, and if we just scan back a bit, we can see the general picture quality there just looks absolutely mint. Again, because the game is being uh, displayed in the in the resolution it was actually designed to uh, be displayed in which uh, and which looks absolutely great on this CRT it really does so again that's VGA so that shows you the difference there right sticking with VGA I'm going to show you the most recent game that's come out for the Dreamcast only come out a few weeks ago and this is Fast Striker don't worry I'll, I'll I will do a gameplay video on this eventually, but I just want to show you something as regards to um, a new game, or any game for instance, that doesn't actually look better in Super VGA. It actually looks better in RGB low res. So if we look at this here, now it, it looks sharp enough, it's fine, but you can see here, because you've got the, um, everything's quite blocky. You see that? Everything's blocky. Well that immediately sort of strikes you the fact that this would be better placed as a low res game. This isn't a high resolution game. It will it will run in VGA mode as it's as it's doing now, but it's not best suited to VGA. So it does look quite blocky. But the colours look fine and everything. But it doesn't it, it just doesn't look right. This game would look better in low res and it's fortunate that this game has got a native low res mode and it was written to take advantage of that so i'll show you that now and you'll see a marked difference right so this is a dreamcast connected to the same uh, crt uh, tv but this is reverting back down to rgb so it's it's uh, from dreamcast to scart rgb from the scart rgb being converted to a VGA uh, plug-in effect, but it is pure RGB, pure low res. As we'll see now, we've actually got scan lines. We've got proper scan lines. Look at that beauty. So again, we've basically got what we had on the Super Nintendo, because this game was actually written to take advantage of this, uh, this resolution mode. So once the game starts, we're gonna to have to come back into the the main game, you'll be able to see it a bit better again. Come on, come on, come on. I'll start loading up now, just zooming on here a bit. But see, it's got scan lines now, so which looks a lot better on this game, and it is proper scan lines, and there's no flicker at all because it's in low resolution mode can't really see very much you can just see the scan lines there but again believe me this looks a hell of a lot better in RGB mode low res RGB mode than it does in in VGA nice crystal sharp images so I hope that those those sort of demo videos gave you even more things to stress or worry about because it, it, it really isn't that straightforward. I, I, I think that uh, that show, the intention of that was to show you that, that basically some Dreamcast games look better and work better in VGA mode and some games uh, look better in, in normal RGB low res mode. So it, it is quite a mix and match to be honest between the two and you've got to know 
which game should be operating at one resolution and what connection method to get the best out of the game. So it, it, it's it's not easy, it's not straightforward. Uh, but the more and more knowledge you gain, it, 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 uh, you can accept it. And if you've got all the various interconnects, you can just sort of swap between between what those interconnects are to get the best image. Um, Someone else I want to show you is actually another game. It, it's um, it's one of the fighting games. I think it's Marvel vs. Capcom, uh, the first one, and that is very similar. Um, that has some weird things about it. It looks a hell of a lot better in in uh, RGB um, uh, mode output, low res, than what it does in in VGA output. Um, so, sort of to finish this off, I just thought I'd show you that as well because that is quite interesting. But, uh, but if you've got any questions about the Dreamcast or anything like that, just drop a comment on the on the video post, and I'll do my utmost best uh, to answer them. Or if you've got any other any other areas you want me to do videos on as regards to this sort of thing to do with scan lines and so on, any any specific console or or whatever. I could do something on MAME if you want me to, because I know a fair bit about MAME, how to set that up, and I could show you the various differences where you can actually emulate scan lines in MAME. So even on an LCD screen, you can get really good output, but you've got to know what you're doing. You've got to know how to set it up. Um, I've got a fair bit of knowledge on that. So yeah, uh, far away, and I'll see what I can do. Right, so again, returning back to the Dreamcast, this is uh, Marvel vs. Capcom and this is a, a VGA compatible game but isn't actually coded to be at its best in VGA. At this sort of uh, distance on the video camera it looks fine but believe me it's not so let's just start the game off I'll zoom in and you see the characters there they're very blocky in essence I mean it, it, it looks okay but it is blocky it is blocky it's a smooth image there's no flickering because it's in VGA mode so it's progressive um, but it's not great it doesn't look great so we'll now flip to in RGB mode, low res. So we'll see whether or not the game responds to that. It will do, but, but hopefully you'll be able to see it. Right. Right, so this is the same game on the same monitor, but this is a VAR RGB in low res mode. So we'll see what the game looks like now. Again, from this distance, you're not going to notice much of a difference. But there, straight away, that's text. That is absolutely pin sharp on this monitor. And you can see the scan lines. And it actually looks fine, like it was meant to be like that. So if we start the game off. characters on the screen and you should see pretty instantaneously there you go there's your scan lines and that looks so much better again it's not blocky like it was before uh, details nice and crisp uh, the colouring on it is absolutely fine there's probably not that much difference on the colouring actually between uh, VGA and an RGB output to be fair on Dreamcast it does a real good job that sorry it, it does a really good job at doing that but the actual image itself is absolutely mint so that's on the same console same game same monitor different outputs so in this instance it is actually better for this game to be displayed in RGB mode on a CRT than it is in VGA mode on a CRT unlike most of the other Dreamcast games so I hope that 
shows that off nicely again zoom in there and it's just scan scan lines veil really but proper scan lines and it's suited to it it's supposed to be like that hence why it looks so good